What the heck is one of the most effective tool hanging devices ever invented? Hola woodworkers, Paul Carlson here, small workshop guy. In any kind of an organized small workshop or a large workshop, doesn't matter, workshop is a workshop, they all need to be organized. You need something simple to hang a lot of tools and I have found a device that is so simple but I'm going to show you how effective it is. And here is the device right here. Not this wood, just this hook with a place for two screws to go into the back of the hook. So any kind of a stud or any kind of a board like this, you just screw it in. Then if you want to go to hanging some tools on a French cleat system, just have a front board with your cleat on the back of it and uh, you're all set to go. Now I did find out and I would recommend that you make this longer, this front board for more leverage if you have a really heavy tool that might pull that up out of there. So anyway, this is the tool. I got this at Ace. It's uh, metal. It's got uh, some covering on the two little arms and the arms are bent up just perfectly. So let me show you a few of the things in my shop that I hang using that. I've got uh, a pneumatic gun and they all have little gaps and so you can find you can find a way to hang almost anything on these. Here's a little sanding device. It's got a place for dust collection. Well that little dust collection port goes right over one of the two prongs and then you can use something like these little rapids to wrap your cords and then put that over the other prong so it's up out of your way. All right, then when it comes to drill drivers, they all <laughs> somehow are perfectly designed to go in there either by taking the back out or if you have your battery in there, then that's an even different way that it can hang in there. So lots of different ways that every single tool can fit into these and hang. Uh, I prefer to do these like this so I can see what drill bit is on there. So here are several drill drivers. All I have up here is just a uh, two by six uh, piece of board that's about, I don't know, eight or 10 feet long, just up on my wall uh, connected to some studs. And then I've got like 13 of these hooks up there so I can put everything in a row. To me that beats having shelves where you're gonna get a lot of dust and things in there and dust on top. So again, drill drivers. Uh, if you have like a uh, battery operated sanding device, this is my uh, little DeWalt XR uh, 20 volt. Well, those you can find a place and right here it's, it's perfect uh, on there. You got a pin nailer, like I have a battery operated DeWalt uh, 20 volt pin nailer. They all have openings like this. Just put that opening right in there. I've even got my uh, Festool Domino here. Those have a lot of different places where you could hook things on them uh, to hold them up there securely. I got a little e Festool ETS sander. You know, when the hose is off and when the electrical is off, here's the connection for the dust collection. Just put that puppy right onto one of the prongs. Here's a Festool 90. Just about all handles will fit on. So over here on the French cleat wall, got all of these uh, DeWalt devices with batteries on them. They'll all, the battery, it's almost like the thing was designed exactly for a battery on a handheld device. So here's a flashlight, here, drill driver, drill driver, drill driver type of thing. So those all just fit absolutely perfectly on what. And the beauty is it's not all locked into one con 
cabinet. You may want these somewhere else in your workshop to spread them around so you got one handy rather than have them all in one place. Uh, even this sander is on one of these. Well, what about my circular saw? I don't know about yours. Mine comes with a little thing designed, I think, to be hooked up to a work belt or an apron or something. So anyway, that little hook that I have on my DeWalt simply goes over one of these hooks that hangs up right there. Got my uh, jigsaw, it's got a handle. Put the handle on it. Need a push stick for my jointer. Got one designed right there. Handy in reach. If I need an edge guide, it's just on a couple of those hooks. A uh, combination square here. I have a little calipers that I want, which is metric sometimes. I want to hang up a assembly hammer, hang up a woodworking hammer. Those all just fit on those hooks like they were designed for it. I've got some other hammers and stuff on there. Bottom line is, folks, that that set of hooks, buy yourself about 20 of them, have them in a drawer, find yourself some studs or some wood or some French cleats in your workshop, and don't stress over building big, super fancy things. Uh, just use those great hooks. Small workshop guy, reminding you, you can't stop the waves, but you can learn to surf. I've got a little uh, what's called gimbal here. Uh, of course, nothing's gonna work what I'm trying to show you. So, two little hooks screwed in there. Got something. There's all sorts of places to hang that. So, just hang that. <laughs> That'll be in the bloopers. 